two of the key wines that have come in for business are from Etna and from Calabria. This is a very much an emerging region in terms of the UK. Etna, incredible um, location on top of a volcano uh, next to Catania in the southeastern part of Sicily. I'm um, working with indigenous grape varieties in the reds, Nerella Mascalese, Nerella Capuccio, and on the whites, Caracante. And the end, there are two entry level wines there's a white, entry level white and entry level red. Um, which are there to show the finesse and the balance and the fruit characteristics of both these grape varieties and these wines. There's no oak treatment at all. They're all from hand-harvested grapes from a long-standing uh, family company who have been growing grapes on Etna since 1954. Um, but they've just started producing wine themselves in the last three years. It's a fantastic new partner for us in the region. We're also going to be showcasing the first of their Contrada wines. Uh, Contrada is a district, it's like a sort of premier cru situation you have in Burgundy. And so we have one of their wines called Pietcherezzo, and this is a much more uh, complex, um, more concentrated, denser wine, which has one year in barrel, and really showcases the premium potential that Etna has in terms of Italian wine production. And the second producer is, uh, again, an old uh, region for producing wine in Italy, Calabria, but not that well known in the UK. A lot of that is because the, there are not really any international grape varieties, they're all predominantly indigenous grape varieties. Uh, we'll be working with a red um, from the DOC area of Ciro and the grape variety is called Galliopo, um, which is again, you can see, it's not easy to remember, no one's going to write that on a wine label. Um, and from a white, which is made from Greco Bianco, both the wines um, come from their own vineyards, they own around 16 hectares. Um, and the key thing about this area of Calabria, which is a very warm, it's right in the heel of Italy, but the key part of this is that their plantings, all of their vineyards are very close to the sea. So they have these marine influences, these marine um, winds that keep the vineyards and the grapes very cool during the day, but also most importantly in the evening. So the grapes get to rest and, and relax. And what this means is you can control the alcohol. So a lot of people, when they taste these wines, they think they're going to be high in alcohol, high fruit, extracted wines. They're really not at all. The white wine from Greco is 12% alcohol, which is incredible to get that um, sort of balance of fruit and acidity and freshness in this part of Italy. And then the red is a very serious, more traditional wine. And um, we're releasing the 2012. Um, so the wine has two to three years of aging after the wine has um, been fermented. And the wine is no oak. The idea is again to express the terroir, um, the typicity of Galliopo. So it's um, fermented and aged in concrete. The wine has a fantastically complex aromatic profile of sort of meat and prunes um, and wild cherry. Um, then a lot of spice and texture and again there's density on the palate which is not coming from oak. There's quite a lot of tannin there and some people will be shocked by the amount of tannin in the wine. Um, but it's going to be really there for food wines and it's got an amazing label. They've um, recreated the label which they had from the 1950s, this real fantastic retro look, um, the Scala Ciro look. And we've just been told they produced the white label to, to accompany it and we'll start with that later in the year.